Well, looks pretty good. There's actually quite a few fish in this area. There's one decent one right there. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. It's a big, big jump from uh, yesterday's excursion, that's for sure. Oh, I got one. There we go. There we go. Boom. <laughs> that feels good. After two days straight of just not getting into any fish, this really does feel good. No giant, but it's a lot a lot better than what we were working with uh, the past few days. You know, with this clear water, the first thing I kind of picked up was a drop shot, but being that there is some grass and some emerging grass, meaning there's grass on the surface, I decided to pick up the frog, and this is probably my fifth or sixth cast, so that's a super good sign. Not the big one I'm looking for, but hey, I'll take you all day, buddy, okay? Time for an epic clear water release. goes nice so the other day I received a tweet from a fellow angler um, a viewer who basically called me out and said at fishing the MW if you're up for a challenge try pulling something out of the hollows and carry then he sent me this picture of the hollows and for a second I kind of hesitated I was like the hollows where is that I never heard of the hollows but then it kind of dawned on me and I realized where it was, and I realized I actually fished here long, long ago. So I decided, look, I'm getting real sick and tired of trying to pull together a video or even a day of fishing at the Fox River. So I took Brendan's, Brendan's challenge, and accepted it and uh, decided to come here today for an afternoon bite and managed to catch one fish. I've only been on here for probably less than 50 minutes and I'm seeing a lot of great signs. So, Brendan, thank you for the challenge and I'm gonna continue fishing because I feel like I could get on some decent fish today. If they're eating the frog, Lord knows what else they're eating. Cool, let's get back at it. It's kind of cool is I basically have this whole place to myself. It's like a Wednesday afternoon and people are driving home from work and, oh geez, how's it going? Scared the crap out of me, how's it going? What's up, yeah. Spencer, nice to meet you, dude. Thanks, dude, appreciate it. Oh my God, you almost gave me a heart attack. Oh, that's funny. Anyway, um, I totally forget what I'm saying. Nice cast there, Ace. Should've worn my short shorts today. Would've been ideal for waiting. Oh, that's a good one. I watched him eat. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Dude, that's... What it's all about not a giant dude when he came up i thought it was a freaking eight pounder he just went whoom, right up and over that frog and that's not a terrible fish you get a few of those and you're on your way to a solid day of fishing frog seems to be the key player today there he goes sweet <laughs> i'm so happy right now because <laughs> i'm actually catching him Whew. really all i did with that fish is just kind of cast as close as I could to that reed edge there. You know, when I make that cast, I'm not like ripping it up and down and trying to make a bunch of commotion because if there is a fish there, like right on the edge, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't need a wake up call. He just wants a few subtle little bobs up and down, some twitches, just walk it a bit, make it spit. And that's just enough to drive him crazy because all that looks like is like a little red winged blackbird or an insect that's fallen from the, uh, the tops of those reeds and now is struggling. Like right there, I'm not even moving it much. Like that fish hit it when I was just pulling it out. Like I didn't even started moving it yet. I love it when they eat it like that. Super tight corners, pitching. 
and skipping frogs. I don't know if it really can get any better than that, folks. I was reeling my frog in for another cast and this guy came up and uh, clobbered it. That was kind of in the midsection in between both those reeds. All right, chill out, chill out. Another one on the frog. Smaller than the other one, but still another largey. The sun really hasn't even started to go down yet, which gives me so much hope for this afternoon bite. All right, see you, man. There he goes. So before I roll on over to the next spot, I kind of want to show you guys, like give you guys a visual as to what these fish are relating to, kind of like where they're hiding and stuff like that. And the fish that I'm catching are even on the outside. Um, I can't reach the fish that are in the reeds because, you know, they go that far back. Just so you guys can kind of understand it. Um, I know it's good for me to see it visually opposed to me just talking about it. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like under those reeds. Saw him busting over there. That's an okay fish. Oh, look at that. Look at that, folks. I came out here expecting to get like one or two decent bites on a drop shot. <laughs> and uh, much to my freaking surprise, they're munching frogs. I threw that thing out on like a windy flat, just on a little weed edge. I'm, I'm so happy right now. I'm just so happy that they're eating. Not only are they eating, but they're eating on top too. That's a healthy fish right there. That's kind of like the stuff I'm going for. See you, dude. Dude, it feels so freaking good to finally catch some decent fish. Two days in a row, I had some kind of difficulties, both on the Fox River, wasn't able to catch any fish, wasn't really able to pump out an awesome video for you guys. I have a feeling this one's probably a little bit better. Feels good to catch fish. Like, regardless of the whole filming portion of it, it just feels really good to be out here and sticking into some uh, some freaking meat, especially on the toe, too. Anyway, more frog action to come, hopefully. Where the heck does this lead to? Ooh. Ooh. This is my kind of stuff right here. Oh, see, this is, this is the place where giants are made. Oh, look at all the bait. Bunch of bait over there. Oh, oh, big boil. Oh, more big boils, more big boils. Oh, they're here. Oh, I saw it. I knew it was coming. I saw the mat move. I saw like just a little quiver in the mat and I was like, that looks kind of weird. Sure enough. Here comes Sassy Sally, right up out of those freaking, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I sound like an idiot. He missed it completely though. That's a dang on shame because I would have loved to have caught her. She's about two maybe. Oh my God, that was a big one. Got him. Oh boy. Oh man. Hit it like an eight pounder. Hit it like a toad. Sloppy bass. This dude came right in the grass. Wasn't paying attention yet again. Big old head. Look at the head on that fish compared to the rest of its body. Healthy looking fish, man. Healthy looking fish. Saucy little dude. Get back at it. Keep eating those frogs. Oh, there you go. That was. That's going to be some epic slow mo content right there. Water's so freaking cold. So one quick tip for you guys out there, and I know I don't really plug too many tips on my videos, I'm trying to get in the habit of doing so, but one decent tip for you guys out there, 
if you want to fish a frog and get like really long casts out there, like let's say you have no grass in front of you and all the grass is out there, two big suggestions, one of which being have a rod that's 7'6 or longer. I'll even throw a 7'9 in some cases. The longer the rod, the longer the cast. Another thing to keep in mind too is you want to use like lower diameter line, like the lowest you think you can get away with. I know a lot of guys like 65, sometimes even 80 pound freaking braid. But when you're doing stuff like this, it's not bad to like downsize. That way you're gonna fit more line on your spool and also um, thinner line will fly off the spool a little bit easier than that heavy bulky 65 or 80. So, you know, 40, 50, I don't go any higher than like 55. You're probably pretty good. I mean, it's not like I'm fishing Delta material here. This is, this is not too sketchy stuff. I mean, you can really even get away with 30. Two main tips on getting really long casts out there if you're fishing a frog, because if I was using a little 6'9", a little six foot, a little five four chub stick, then there's no way I'd be able to reach that grass out there. Just something to keep in mind, folks. Just a quick tip for y'all. All right, well, I'm gonna head on out of here. I had an awesome day. I didn't really expect much from fishing in a place like this that gets pressured pretty much on a daily basis. It's a small body of water, it's clear water, and uh, it takes a beating, but I had an awesome time out here. Huge shout out to Brennan for challenging me, and uh, Brennan's his name, right? I think it's Brennan, I don't know, I forget. Give me a challenge suggestion in the comment section below. I really wanna hear what you guys have to say, and I want to hear some of your some of your brilliant ideas, because I know you guys got some good ones. Um, this was just kind of like an, a niche challenge, just for fun. Anyway, I'm gonna roll on out of here now. Probably go grab a bite to eat, because I haven't eaten all day. I just realized it, like it just dawned on me, and I probably should eat.